Hello there and welcome to another video from Miniature Tanks Company. This one will be the Katusha rocket launcher truck and uh, kind of an old truck from that was used in World War II by the Russians, by the USSR, I believe. So a lot of little pieces in this kit, but it would be a lot of fun to build. So first of all, I'm just going to take all these pieces put them up here and then I'll take piece by piece and assemble them. First of all this one has uh, a sprue like element so we need to cut these away. And I just remembered to put on safety glasses because sometimes pieces can fly around. So yeah Cutting away the little parts, bit by bit. So yeah, there are some pieces under here. You can try to remove those with your pliers. Alright, so see how that worked out? Just take your pliers, try to remove that little support piece and make it look circular. Alright, so that piece is cleaned up, ready to go. We can glue um, this together and the first piece that I'm going to glue together you can see if it's like this that's not correct you should have it like this and it, you can see that this um, fuel fuel line or whatever exhaust pipe actually that's what it is that's where it will line up so you can glue that together Take some of your glue, dab it on there. So gently take the piece and put it on there. And um, unfortunately, there's not much of a better way than to just hold it there. Another good indication is the sides here. Um, see there's lines that uh, are on the side in the bottom area there. These lines should line up with the other piece. So you can line it up like that, line it up like that, and then underneath you can see that's lined up. So this piece doesn't technically go flush here. There's a groove area where you will glue all of that uh, another piece together. And that's actually right here, I believe. Those pieces will go there. Um, but for now, that's how you can glue that together. Just pay attention to those lines there. All right, so that is gluing. Now, while that is gluing, try to keep it from falling apart. Take this piece. Let's go ahead and take the hobby pliers and cut away here. You can cut right here. While we're having this piece in hand, take the sprue pieces, get rid of them. And this piece we will use later. But this, these pieces we're using right now. And we're going to glue them here. Yeah, so once this piece is dried up a bit, you can put these two pieces that we cut away. And they will help reinforce, actually. And I think it's a perfect square, so it doesn't matter which angle you're doing. But 
they will for sure help reinforce um, this piece. So let's just put this piece like this. I'm going to go ahead and dab glue here. So what I will want to do is I'm just going to put some glue here. And I'm putting some glue here too, along these edges. That way those parts get glued as well. And so this next step, of course, is fairly simple. I'm going to put the sprue piece that I cut on the inside. That way that part can be less visible. Yeah, and I'm just putting these pieces in there. Like so. Another tool I recommend is you have some tweezers like this. This will help um, hold some of these pieces. Looks like those worked out all right though. So I'll let them dry as is, but tweezers probably could have helped align these a little better. In fact, I'll align that one just a tad bit better there. Step one of many complete. Now let's proceed to the next part. Next, you want to find a piece like this. It looks like this. There's a little X. And that's a fuel can, a big fuel tank. Fuel tank, actually, not a fuel can. A big fuel can tank. <laughs> and then this flat piece is connected to it. This piece uh, just goes on the back of the truck here. So easy to know where this piece goes. So to apply that piece will be easy enough. Just take some glue and dab on the glue along this line and this edges here. And have the fuel tank facing down. Just place that piece like that. And you know it's where it needs to be because of these lines here. These lines line up with that line and that corner. While we have that gluing, actually the next step that we could glue is this roof. You can see, of course, um, where it is glued based on um, the shape of it. So the next step is to uh, take and dab on glue around these edges. Now, in case you are adding weights to your vehicle, most of the other tanks and stuff that I list there's a big gap of space underneath the tank. You can add weights and little metal pieces to make the items heavier. In case you're doing that, now would be the time to fit some in there. But I'm not going to do that for this video at least. Just place that over, over this vehicle. Now let's give a zoom in here. That's how it should look. From both sides. So the truck is coming together. Okay, up next I'm going to find these two pieces here, as you can see, and glue them on. Now for these two pieces, what you want to do is have um, this side of the piece, where this, this piece uh, has this feature, you want to have these facing that way. So if the pieces are like this, this is the wrong way. This, this feature here needs to be this way. So let's glue them on here. And to glue them on, it's easy because you just put in 
uh, glue along these edges here. All right, then just place a piece like that. All right, so once you have those pieces glued, you will find another piece that looks like this. Here's what that looks like. And you can see that this lines up and goes in there pretty well. So you can go ahead and try to fit it in there. In case you glued the pieces too close together, now you will know. So you want to fit the, that piece in between them. Also, you don't want to forget to remove this sprue from that piece. All right, so now it's looking pre pretty good, as you can see. The close-up is like this. It should be all lining up like this. All right, so next I'm going to find this axle piece. And we're going to go ahead and uh, glue it under here. So you can see here, um, this little angles on each side should be facing down. I was having them fa facing up, sort of, in the last gluing. They should be facing down. Down into the cab, or facing up in this case. And now you'll, you'll see that when you put the truck down, it will be all even. So, if when you're gluing things together, when the axle is glued on, you put the truck down and it's fairly even, the surface that touches the, the board, that's good. But if this wheel's the other way around and it's, you place it down and it's kind of leaning up like this, that's uh, wrong. You should turn it the other way around. So just make sure you put the axle the correct way. Up next in the assembly process of this vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and put this piece on. This is kind of the support piece for the rocket launcher. Or the foundation support piece for the rocket launcher, I should say. So just dab some glue where that should go. Right, then just place that there. Just put it in the middle, middle of the flatbed area. All right, step one for that piece. So up next, I thought, well, things are drying. I thought I would show you this little piece. And this piece, you might be like, where's that? But this is an armored windshield. So if, in case you wish, you can glue that there, and then it would be an armored uh, windshield. For this tutorial, I will not, but that piece was optional for you. So you can have uh, the armored windshield there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll probably skip that for now. Um, so next, I think it would be a good idea for us to glue on the wheels. Let's go ahead and get these glued on. Take these sprues and cut them away. All right. Take this piece and just get the sprues cut away like this. And now you have the wheels ready to glue on. Yeah, so let's go ahead and turn the truck on to its side, sort of. 
and we can start gluing on these wheels. So just dab glue on the axle ends. Right. The dualies, the ones with two wheels, go on the back. Those will be for that side. This one goes on the front. So yeah, just try to get them on there. I'm just going to place them on there for now. Let them start gluing for a bit. If you have glue, it takes a bit to set. That's nice. If not, try to be careful with this step. And try to put it fairly in the middle, these wheels. Have the circular piece of the the end of the axle. Just try to put it in the middle of the wheel. And uh, also, they can shift around too, so in, depending on your glue, just make sure you pay attention to how they set. Now we can go ahead and do the other side. And like before, just try to get them set in the middle. And if you have a more instant type glue, then try to set it in the middle instantly. <laughs> As you can see, I can move things around for a bit before it completely dries. And I'm just making sure that this is set nicely. Because what's weird with a model is if you have some wheels and tires not touching. And then I just set it like that for a bit. All right. Now I'm going to put that to the side. While that's gluing, I'm going to go ahead and take this little piece and take the sprues apart. So I can take the sprue from here. That piece is ready. Take the sprue from here. That piece is ready. This piece you need to be careful with. These wanna, you want to save these pieces. So try to hold it at the same time so it doesn't fly away. <laughs> now, zoom in here. These will be little handles that the, the crew of the truck can turn. So try not to lose, the, lose uh, these. And try to hold all of it together as you cut them apart. And try not to cut your fingers. All right, let's test out these wheels. Looks like they're pretty solid, not moving around now. So you can set the truck. And now it looks good because it's actually set on its wheels. Now I'm going to glue the supports onto the back of the truck. So just dab some glue onto the end sides here. The, and then this time I'm going to take the tweezers and put these little support pieces there. For instant, um, instant drying glue would be kind of nice because this can be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> and these were used to support the back of the truck when the rockets were firing. That way, the truck wouldn't fall over, basically. Now you can keep these little handle pieces. Um, and this is optional. It's a smaller detail. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to do it. But you can glue it onto the side here. No, actually, I'm going to. I have the tweezers. So just dab some glue. To 
take the tweezers and put those things onto the side. So there you go, that's a close up. The crew would take the handle, push these supports down to the ground, that way the back of the truck would not have things falling over. And while we're gluing those handles, I'm going to put the glue there. And I'm going to take the last third little handle piece. And place it there. So that's what that little handle piece should look like. Try to get on get it on there somehow. It's it's hard to keep it a stick with gravity and all. That's where the instant glue, I need to get some instant glue, instant drying glue. This is ridiculous. It's hard to get this piece to stick. All right, up next, we're gonna go ahead and try to glue this piece onto here. It's gonna be a little more intricate. I'm gonna double check the tires, make sure everything is gluing correctly on them. They look all right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab glue there. Okay, then take this piece and just set it on top of there. Kind of an interesting um, placement for this piece, but you'll see later how that works. Here's the close-up. Like I said, it's an odd placement for the piece, but you'll see. All right. Then we have um, these pieces. So with these pieces, this part needs to be in the front. So make sure this single thing is in the back and this thing is in the front. So um, what you want to do is to dab glue here and here. And then you can glue it onto the side there. Then you want to take this and angle it back. And you want to take the glue, dab it there, both of those. And you want to have those. Uh, touch glue together. So for review, here's how that all looks. In like manner, let's take and dab glue here, here, and here. And before it drips down, try to get it glued together. All right, there's the review of how that looks. All right, so for this last bit of this truck here, there's what it looks like currently. Um, one thing I'm gonna do before I get all these rockets figured out and stuff, is there's one piece that looks like this and it came off of the sprue from one of the tires. So what you want to do is take um, this little piece and free that from the sprue and try to hold it so it doesn't go flying. All right, the sprue went flying, but this little piece didn't. And what you want to do with this little piece is go ahead and uh, dab some glue there and there take the truck uh this piece and just put 
that piece in between there. All right, uh, that's part of the truck. That makes that little bumper type thing complete. Up next, you can see with this rocket launcher setup, there's um, these parts of the, this would, would have been metal piece. Um, and what these do is they line up with the support beams. What you want to do is just dab glue on here, 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 and here. Okay, and then take your piece and just set it on these support structure. Looking under it here, making sure it lines up pretty well. Looks like it's set fine. All right, finally, the Kyusha, Kyusha? I think Kyusha truck is assembled and complete. Amazing. That took a little bit of time. It's a little more time than uh, other models. So now here is the missiles. So what you can do is just uh, kind of tear them off from the support plastic here. And you will need your hobby pliers just to clean them up. So just take your hobby pliers and try to clean up the missiles like so. Just take and get this stuff off of it. It's kind of a support um, plastic. You can just get that stuff off there. And now there's the missile. You can clean up some of it, sand it down, something like that. So now you can do that to all of the missiles. All right, so now the task is to take each little missile and just um, glue it onto the the railing type stuff. So this should be fairly easy. Just take your glue and dab it on the back top of, I'm gonna do four at a time, that way it can glue evenly, I hope. Also going to take the tweezers and hopefully set them correctly here. All right, there's one missile. Kayusha rocket. All right. The next one. All right. So there is the Kayusha rocket launcher truck. I think it turned out pretty well. And as you can tell, obviously, from this kit, the assembly process, it's definitely a longer, more complicated kit than some of the others. But I think it's worth it, and I hope you have fun. So thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.